Hey, how's it going? And this is a follow-up to the video I just did on the Blueprint interface. And I want to show you how you can use it to pass a variable. This has been kind of a bone of contention that I've been having. And I've got it working, and so I just want to show you how it works. So there's a little bit, it seems to be an order of operations on this, but I'll just show you. I've just got two Blueprints here again. I've got one in the level interface here. And this is a variable that I'm passing. And then if we come back in here, I have this is the, it says untitled, but it's basically the receiving blueprint. And then we're simply passing the variable to this blueprint here. So if I come into play, the variable is the number 1001. So if I click here and I hit press, which is a keyboard event, you can see 1001 coming in. So I'm passing that variable using the interface. So I'm just gonna run through this super quick. I'm not gonna even take the time to name things. I just wanna show you how this can work. So I've tried doing this a couple different ways and some ways haven't seemed to work. And then this way seems to be working. So it seems like you've gotta set up the interface connection and get it connected. And then you can go in and start adding the things that you want to send. So it's almost like you have to create the channel of communication and then start adding what you want to send on that channel. So it's kind of interesting. So anyway, we're just going to go to File, New Project. And we're just going to do a blank project. And I'll just call this BI underscore, whoop, underscore 2 and create. Just takes a minute to do this. I think this has a lot of functionality. It's just getting over this initial setup. So, okay, so here we go. I already have a video on how I did this, so that's why I'm gonna go kind of fast here. We're gonna create the Blueprint interface first, and we're just gonna double click into it. And we're not even, we're just gonna go compile, and that's all we have to do for right now. I'm not even gonna rename that. It's new function underscore zero. Okay, then I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna create a Blueprint class, and this is just gonna be an actor and we're gonna double click into that. I'm not gonna rename it, I'll dock it though. And first thing first, we have to hook up the interface. So we're gonna come up here and it's called new interface. It's right there and it's over here right now. And so we'll just compile and save that. And then what we do is we right click on it and we're gonna go implement event. It's gonna pop us into the event graph. You'll see that it's activated here. And all we're gonna do is just drag off a print screen, a print string, excuse me. And we're just gonna leave it like that for right now. And we're gonna go save. So we've got half of it hooked up already. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the level blueprint here. Let me go back real fast. The one thing we're gonna do is we have to make an instance of this, so I'm gonna drag this onto the scene. But anyway, now I'm gonna go into the level blueprint and I've got to hook it up to the interface here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go add, type in new. New interface is right there. Compile and save. So now this should be callable, if you will. We should be able to send once we get our channel of communication set up. That's all we're doing right now. So I'm going to come back in here and make sure I'm on the new blueprint so I can reference it. So go back into the level editor. And now I can reference it. And I'm going to trigger the whole thing again like I did before is I'm going to right click and go for a, well, it's right there, the create reference. So I'm going to bring that on. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to go for a keyboard event and it's going to be a one. And then the next thing I need to do is create a variable. So an actor variable to, and that's kind of the backbone of the communication. So we're going to go actor and we're going to go down to object type, actor, object reference, and we'll make it public, and we'll compile and save. Then we're just gonna drag this on and go set actor. I'm gonna get rid of these, they're kind of cluttering things. Okay, so now we're gonna drag this in to activate the chain, and then we're gonna plug this in and hopefully it'll work. Okay, and now from here, and this is what's interesting is, you won't get this let me just pull this off, I'll show you. Now we're gonna search for that function, the new function that was created, this new function zero. And you'll notice you won't get this message until all of this is hooked up. 
you'll just see function no message in parentheses but you're looking for this one that has the message in parentheses because this is what allows us to send between blueprints or for inter blueprint communication if it just says function then you haven't created this actor variable and the channel of communication won't, won't open up not until this variable is connected and set up will this appear but then this is what we need is the one that says message so if you don't see this you're something's not right because this all has to be hooked up like this okay so at this point if I compile and save our interface between the two blueprints is connected we have our achieved connectivity now so now what we can do is we can update our interface to send whatever we want to send along this channel of communication so if I come back in here I want to go to here and I go into the interface if I click on the new function and I go to input say I want to send a variable it's an integer so I'll just call this test int and then I'll set it as an integer I didn't set here to integer okay and then we'll go compile and save and then what it's done is it's updated this along the channel so if I go back into here and I go to the level blueprint you'll see that now there's an input for a variable to come through so I need to create one so I'll just create one here real fast and I'll just call this it doesn't matter what I call it test and then I'll just set it to it's got to be of course of the same type an integer and I'll just compile and save and then I'm just going to drag this on as a get and I'm going to plug this into here and over here on the default let's just call it 777 okay and then I'll compile and save and now if I come over into the new blueprint you'll see here's this input fortunately this auto converts for us the data types so I can just drag this straight into the string and it's going to automatically convert it I can go compile and save I come into here and now if I hit play click into the interface and I hit one our trigger you see it, 777 so we're sending our variable across the interface so anyway I think this has a lot of application and hopefully you don't have to be casting to things so much and I hope that more people start using this functionality it's just setting up that initial channel of communication that seems to be the key to actually successfully using the interface so anyway take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time